Hi there, Steve here again. Um, we've been through media players. I suppose the next logical thing to do are the Hyperdex, or in this particular case, Hyperdex 6, which I'm going to punch up on the program bus right there. Nothing. Ah, there we go. There's a there's a clip that's currently sitting on Hyperdex 6. Not much going on it. It's actually Hugh's watch. We just did it to test the cameras at some point in Bristol. Um, but having pushed Hyperdeck there and punched it up on a source we can take a look at, you can see down in the window down there, in our preview window, we've got the five Hyperdecks that we would record onto. Hyperdeck 6 is there. Um, on the system control menu down here, there is a Hyperdex button. So if you push that, the context changes. So you've got things like transport controls for stop, play, loop, things like that. Um, you can also change various parameters to do with it. Like, for example, which clip Hyperdeck 6 is going to play. Oh, one thing I should mention. This, calls, this is called Hyperdeck 1. It doesn't refer to the labelling we have here. It refers to the four Hyperdeck systems that the uh, ATEM can actually control. It can control up to four. We're only using one, and we're calling it Hyperdeck 6. So don't be confused by that. It's always going to be just this one red button in the corner. Hyperdeck 2 is not connected. It's not programmed. It's not there. So, just the first hyperdeck of the four is going to be what we call hyperdeck six. Okay, the other five are not controlled from here. They're all controlled from the iPad. We'll talk about that later. So, in this case, we've got a clip here, and I want to see a different clip. So you go to the clip knob, and you change it backwards and forwards. And you can actually see on the screen that it's going between the various clips. There's the watch one. That's the one we had before but I want to park it on the one that says UHD clock so I need to find that nope, one too far number, clip number six, UHD clock and the screen's gone black the first frame of the video is black it hasn't disappeared, it just happens to be the first frame of the video if I want to play it if I push the play button you can see that it will start to play after about ten seconds but I don't want to wait ten seconds so I'm going to just pause it now oh, it's gone to loop Oh, you can actually see it's actually kicked off. There you go. You can see the clock coming in. So, I'm going back to my back to my tra transport. So I'm going to push stop. Can you see it just stopped it? Okay. Just to continue then. Uh, sorry about that. Small interruption. Um, we've got our Ultra HD clip. Ultra HD clock. No, no, it's not there. Go on clip. So go clip. Find our Ultra HD clip, which is where is it? Clip 6, I think it was. Clip 6, yep. Yeah. So that's our Ultra HD clock. First frame is black, as we saw before. Uh, and we can play it. And it will play. There isn't that much going on because the first 10 seconds are black. But I'm going to stop it for a moment. And you can see there are a couple of other wheels up there which we can use, jog and shuttle. To activate those, I push the, the soft button here, the white soft button, and it activates the shuttle wheel. So I will grab hold of the shuttle wheel and I will move it forwards and you can see it's running at five times speed sorry about that, another interruption by me accidentally pushing the stop button okay so I've got that. I've got the shuttle wheel and I'm going backwards so now I'm going forwards turn it the other way and it's going forwards and backwards at different speeds depending on what, which way I twist this knob here okay. But I don't want to shuttle anymore, so I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to turn jog on. And just as you would with a with a a tape deck or a jog wheel or something like that, I can now jog. I can now twist that to my heart's content, and jog forwards, and jog back. Just by twisting the just just by twisting the jog knob. Okay, okay. you can see the time you can see the time code reference changes here and there, as well. OK, that's Jog and Shuttle. Um, I can set it to loop, so I can push play. I can push play again, and it's set to loop play. Now, this, this video is 40 seconds long, so I'm not going to make you sit and watch it loop, but it will get to the end, and then it will start again. Trust me. Um, I can stop the playback, and I can advance frames, and I can go back in frames. Oh, I can advance, it, advance clips and go back in clips through the list. So you can see, I was go instead of using the clip knob, I'm now actually changing from one clip to the next, one piece of media to the next. So there's Hugh's watch again. If I go back to my clock, go back to my shuttle button, and I'll shuttle into the clock. 
OK, so we're into the clock. I'll turn off the shuttle. OK, and I'll hit stop. And I can use frame advance buttons and fast forward and rewind. So I can rewind, push the rewind button. And it's rewinding in real time, but backwards. I push it again, it goes to two times speed. Push it again, it goes to four times speed, and it will disappear. So I'm going to push the fast forward button instead, and it will fast forward at two times speed. And hopefully, we'll see our clock back advancing at two times its speed. I'll push it once more, and it's up to four times speed. So I'll push stop, and it stops. So there you go, just basic tra tape transport buttons regarding the hyperdeck clips. Uh, as I said, you can record on this system. Uh, we'll come into that into, in another video when we get there. But for playback, this is all you do. You would bring up the clip that you need. Jog and shuttle are available on those little white soft buttons. And you've got tape transport for start, stop, loop, fast forward, rewind, skip clips, to, and re review to previous clips, that sort of thing. Okay. <laughs>